Hello there, Pisces. Welcome. This is going to be October 2022, a quick check-in for you guys. And I'm doing a quick reading because the last reading I did was kind of lengthy. That's really not my style, but it is a lot of information in the career and finance. So I'm going to put that to the end of this video. So if you want to check out, um, you could check it out in, you know, in segments or something and just start watching it. And I think you might be I'm um, glad you did you know if you haven't already seen it okay so let's see what's going on let's check into your energy real quick what do we need to know about Pisces here we have but well, we have the hangman well we're starting out with your card aren't we you're waiting for something you're seeing the new perspective by waiting and this is about the two of potions two of cups a love connection and we have the nine of needles because someone is really stressing over this connection what's going on here there's some kind of love connection and a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. Someone's worried about something here. Okay, we do have the King of Candles because that would be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like the King of Wands. So is that who you're worried about, thinking about? Let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Hangman. Queen of Swords. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone might be a little distant from someone. Someone's not talking. We have... Okay, now we have... The bull here so Taurus energy might be dealing with a Taurus or someone might be being real stubborn could be you could be them could be both of you seems like there's a lot of passion here that I feel through these cards um, yeah someone's probably needs apology or someone needs someone to say something the Queen of Swords likes the truth okay now we have four of swords someone's thinking about you night and day I think this is Queen of Swords or it could be I don't know, I almost feel like this is your energy I'm gonna put this as your energy this is King of Wands it's very passionate about you. I'm going to put it that way. That's why it feels more comfortable. Yeah, that feels right for most of you anyway. Um, so someone is thinking about you. This is trying to heal this connection here with the four of swords with the two of potions. So someone wants to definitely heal this. They're thinking about how to heal this. They think about you day and night, especially when they go to sleep at night. They're thinking about you. You're on their brain. Oh, the four of wands. Yeah, they want a commitment here. Marriage, connection. But there is a stressor with this nine of needles here. Now we have the Magician trying to manifest this. Aries and Aquarius energy I have for the Magician. Okay, let's see if this King of Wands comes back up again. Can't put a charm on it because it's on the bottom of the deck and I'm still using this deck. So let's see what else. Let's see what else we have going on for Pisces. Give some more information, please. Okay, we have the Queen of Presence. So this is the uh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We get a charm on this one. Okay, I think this person sees you as this Queen of Pentacles, very caring, loving, nurturing, takes care of a good home here, and you're one of a kind with the unicorn. That's why I look at that as magical, one of a kind. Can't find anyone like you. They tried. Okay, let's see. We have the Nine of Potions. So this is a Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're the hopes, your wish, your dreams come true. And then we have the Eight of Potions. Eight of Cups. They might be walking away from something to come towards you. Something that's no longer fulfilling so they could be with you now. And we have the King of Needles. So this is a King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's doing a lot of thinking. And they know they have to come to you correctly. And they'll have to come with the truth here. So that probably scares them a little bit. Let's see about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Swords. This person's coming in quick. Okay, they figured it out. They know they have to come. They're, they're jumping in here before they lose you. Ooh, I have the dinosaur. This is a big time memory here. This might be a past life. It's like they've known you forever or their energy towards you feels like they know you forever. Oh, look at this. Let's take it. Ooh, there goes the King of Wands. I was hoping that King of Wands come back out so I could put a charm on him. Okay, so that's Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Someone has a lot of passion and they're on the Nine of Cups. Ooh, and we have a bat. Bats like to cuddle. Bats like to stick together i have to read up more on the back but these keep on getting all these chips from my um my words here and they're all over the place here so anyway um this king of wands is has a lot of passion for you so they're coming fast they're coming in to talk and then they want that passion okay what about this eight of potions we have yeah this has been a burden so they need to walk away from something that is no longer serving to come towards you. Oh, there goes the devil. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I think this person is really obsessing over you and they want to come towards you. They want to come towards you yesterday, but something was holding them back. They couldn't move that quickly. And so let's see now. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else? 
the two of needles, two of swords, trying to make up their mind how to do this. This person is not quite sure how to approach you, how to do this, how to fix this maybe. They're undecided on something here. But twos are always choices too. Got to make a decision. We do have the magician manifesting here. Aries and Aquarius energy for me from the magician. They're trying to manifest this connection and the star. They see you as their star, their wish fulfillment here. Aquarius energy. Okay, and we have the five of potions. This person has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for what happened in the past. <clears throat> My voice is getting scratchy, but of course I've been doing a lot of readings. So, um, yeah, they want to talk to you. They feel this loss. They feel this regret. It's really making them sad. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. What about this two of needles? Clarify this two of needles, please. Eight of wands. Okay, they're going to come in quick. Once they figure this out, once they figure out what they want to say, I think I feel this. I see someone writing down, writing down what they're saying. They keep on writing it down and they're trying to memorize it, but that's not going to work. Once they see you, their head's going to be mush. It's going to go right out the door and they're just going to be so excited to see you. They're going to forget what they want to say. Okay, here we have five of swords. There's people that are interfering with this connection. They're trying to stop them from coming towards you. Okay, what about this star? Eight of Cups again. Wow. So this person is definitely walking away. They might be walking away from this. Um, people come. It might be family. might be friends. might be someone interfering. Anybody interferes, they're walking away from them. They're just shutting them out. They're coming towards you. You are their Nine of Cups. Their wish fulfillment. They're happy ever after. Okay, let's see what the words are here for you guys. Let's do the Queen of Swords. What's the scoop on this Queen of Swords? Apology, mystery, pleasure. Hmm. Okay, so they're coming to apologize. They find you a mystery, but they also find you very pleasurable. Okay, so let's see. What about this Queen of Presents, which is a Queen of Pentacles? Marry, obsess surprise this person wants to marry you they're obsessed with you and they're going to surprise you when they show up this of course we have this knight of swords coming in really quick let's get the scoop on that drama immature soulmate okay there has been immature drama with this person but they see you as a soulmate they want to fix this soulmate Dinosaur. This definitely past lives. Okay. King of Wands. Let's get the scoop on the King of Wands. The cuddly King of Wands. <laughs> okay. Apart. Ooh. Okay. So now since you guys been apart, this person figured out the shocking truth about something. Maybe it's these people interfering. Or they're going to come to you with the shocking truth. Whatever this is, something's changed, something's shocking, something happened here. Aries Scorpio energy, something, yes, yeah, so they're either going to tell you about this or you already experienced this or you're going to experience when they come in. Well, for some reason, someone's going through some kind of change, some kind of shock. They're having a tower moment. Either it's going to be when they come towards you or it's ready. This is what this person went through. Okay, I guess that's my last person, right? Oh, no more words. I like doing the words. Okay, so let's see. I'm knocking down these cards. Let me just put these over here. Okay. Now let's see what signs we're dealing with for you guys. What are the signs for Pisces? What are the signs? We have Gemini. Taurus. Oops. Pisces. There you are. Sagittarius. Leo and Cancer. Okay, so this could be placed in your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, and Cancer. Now for the letters. We do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name and you someone has a middle name and you know the middle name, get that initial. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have X, S, H, G, 
Y, W, K, K, B, B, I. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are X, S, H, G, Y, W, K, K, B, B, I. Okay, now for the names. What names do we have here for Pisces? What are the names, please? We have Bouchon, B H O O S H A N. We have Freddy with a Y. We have Sherry with a Y. We have Odell, Odell, O O D I L E. Okay, we have Bo, Mark, M A R C, Shannon, Sunitha, S U N I T H A, Latoya, Sean, and Anthea. A N T H E A. So we have five. Woo, we have exactly 11. Perfect. Okay, guys, remember this is general readings, not personal readings. Please t take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. It really helps my channel. I love you guys so much. And I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.